This tutorial will show you how to use a particle as a paintbrush in our clone. In theory, you should be able to create organic details such as jungle vines, moss-covered surfaces, footpaths, automobile tracks, drips from liquids, rocky trails, and possibly footprints. This tutorial is for advanced users only. You must be very comfortable using particles and paths in our clone. I'm going to walk you through the technical steps for creating an asteroid belt. Then I will show you some other examples. Here is an overview of the technique. First you create a particle to use as a paintbrush. Then you create a path that the paintbrush will follow. Normally we expect particles to fade away or to shrink out of sight. Instead, we will give the particles extremely long lifespans so that they remain visible for the rest of the animation. Here is a simple circular path. And here is a model of planet Earth. We'll put the path around the model. This is where our paint stroke will go. Let's talk about the particle. Here is a look at its overall shape. Now here is a quick look at all of the particle settings you will need for this asteroid belt. You can copy these settings for now, and experiment later on your own. Let's take a closer look at the most important particle settings. Set the quota to something very very high. That way you will not run out of paint. Gravity and wind should be set to zero. Life, frame. You must not let the particles die, or the paint will disappear. Set the life value to something larger than your animation shot. Because we want a uniform look to the asteroid's particles, set each of the particle keys to the same color, opacity, and size. Here is a look at a particle emitter, or paintbrush. And here is a look at the path settings for the paintbrush. At the beginning of the animation, set the particle to position number 1 on the path. Now move for 10 seconds into the animation. Set the particle to position 300 on the path. This will make the particle travel 3 times around the path. This is what your particle look like in action. Notice that I've set my particle to go around 3 times by setting the final path position to 300 instead of 100. Remember, you must allow the first few seconds of your animation to let the particles kick in and for the paint strokes to occur. Also, do not let your particles disappear. Simply gorgeous. You can really see that that particles are painted into three-dimensional space. Now, what happens if we start with a really really complicated path? Notice that I've changed the shape of the particle brush. It is flattened, more like a paper towel. The path itself is also rotating. There is a relationship between the amount of time you need to start the particles and the actual number of particles which can be painted during that time. So remember, give your particles lots of time, at least 10 seconds, to do the job before you start filming. Such glorious particles. Please notice that the rocket's flare fades out, but the asteroids and space junk do not fade out. The same technique can be used to simulate piles, like these steaming piles of cow dung. I've used a spiral shaped path instead of a circular one. By the way, those particles are actually Christmas bulbs mixed with potatoes. The chunks of cow dung are simply poured along the shape of the spiral path, from bottom to top. The spiral path itself is being moved along yet another path. In this scene, the particle moves along three separate paths. 
spiraling up the lamp post, wrapping around the bulb, and then following the structure of the building. Look at the beautiful effects you can apply. This is the image I used for the particle. This is a great example of how you could paint Christmas decorations directly onto the surfaces of your set. It may be easier to place your paths on your buildings by making sure to add your buildings to the terrain. Watch how the grass grows along the edge of the building. I'm sure you can do a better job matching the path to the structure you wish to follow. I live in Toronto, Canada, where they shoot a lot of American movies. In order to make my city look American, the set decorators must place trash and newspapers all over the streets. We want to make this street look a little bit grungier. A little garbage. In computer animation, a grungy street is a sexy street. When the animation starts, the particles are painted onto the set. These two brooms are adding weeds and newspapers to the sidewalks. Notice that the weeds take a few seconds to grow to full size. Here is the man who is operating the video camera. He is waiting for the particles. The green color will fade away as the particles dry on the building. This is to show where the paint is wet. The second coat of paint begins. The cameraman begins to film the scene. He is running along a path, looking at the actor. The camera is set to auto-stabilize, so it's not bouncing as much as you would expect. The camera on his shoulder is only a prop. Instead, we are using the cameraman's actual eyeballs to record the film. This is what the cameraman is actually seeing through his very own eyes. And that is a very beautiful shot right there. And a good place to end this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. It was a pleasure to share these secrets with you. Bye.